next on the list um, is not really one player, um, rather a kind of whole whole genre, <laughs> if you like, um, and that's kind of the grunge guitarists. <clears throat> All those uh, the players in the, in the Seattle bands, so kind of Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, um, kind of all, all those, you know, Mother Love Bone and the, all the kind of bands that came before them and what made up the membership of the bands that then went on and became famous. Um, sort of, I've worn my Sub Pop t-shirt to, to sort of represent them really with my uh, sort of own brand Jagstang creation. Um, which obviously, you know, a, a lot of that music was what I was into in the 90s as a teenager, at school, growing up, learning the guitar, starting to play the electric guitar. Um, these guitarists are the, the ones that influenced me, um, you know, very, very heavily at that time. This was the music that I wanted to play. Um, these were kind of like the type of bands that I wanted to be in. Um, and I think to some extent, um, again, these guitarists get left off of these lists. Um, they're very, very underrated. You know, there's this assumption that, oh, grunge was, you know, for, for bands that couldn't play their instruments or something, which really is rubbish and couldn't be further from the truth. Um, it's not punk. Some of it came from kind of punk and hardcore scene, um, but that had really no bearing on the actual, the guitarists um, that came out of that 90s kind of Seattle scene, because they were all heavily influenced. Let's not forget, they had been influenced by earlier kind of 70s and 80s rock, Glam rock in particular, Kiss um, was a, a big influence on all of them. So a lot of them were quite actually technically very skilled. Um, they're great songwriters. They're very good players technically. A lot of what they play comes from just the sort of blues rock genre, you know, Led Zeppelin and, and all the kind of 70s rock bands that they were influenced by, and you can hear that in their playing. The Beatles, obviously. Um, Jerry's very much influenced by Elton John. You know, you can you can hear all of this. Um, and kind of metal as well, you know, Black Sabbath and things. Again, highly technically proficient um, guitar influences. So um, there are kind of too many to name individually, but obviously there's this Mike McCready, Stone Gossard from Pearl Jam, um, Kim Tile from Soundgarden, you know, there are so many of them that were just like amazing guitarists, but they didn't make the top five, mainly because I um, already had Kurt in there, already had Jerry in there, and really um, in terms of my playing and my influences and the things that, that I thought sounded just like the coolest stuff I'd ever heard was mainly kind of Nirvana and Alice in Chains. <clears throat> I sort of, I liked Pearl Jam, I liked Soundgarden, but to me their early stuff is the best stuff. Um, and it sort of went off the boil a little bit later on into the sort of later 90s, early 2000s. And I, I kind of lost track of Pearl Jam, really. Um, I think Vitalogy was was where I sort of parted ways with them. So I, I wouldn't say that they had that sort of long-term influence for me, um, or that sort of, you know, the, the interest that would keep me going and buying their albums and stuff, which I, I didn't do. Um, but nonetheless, I still wanted to kind of mention them and credit them because um, half the songs on 10 <laughs> are sort of what's in my um, open mic night repertoire, if you like. 
um, and they always go down brilliantly and and they're just great 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 songs to play on the guitar so you know songs like Alive, Black, Jeremy, <laughs> really really awesome so I uh, just wanted to sort of mention them and, and credit them and, and thank them for that.